We've met a lot of voice actors in our time, and we're going to tell you about our stories with them right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Good Mythical... Wait. Good Mythical 1-Up. <laughs> welcome back to Weekday 1-Up. Um... <laughs> I had to change for the episode, so. Should <laughs> I take off my shirt? Uh, no. Okay. If you haven't noticed, Nate's here with us all week. Hopefully, he won't be here next week, and we'll be just back to our normal. Hopefully, setup. thanks. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> against Nate. We just know that the fans just like me and Dakota together. Let me boop you. I do think we've gotten in a little bit of a better vibe. You Go know, ahead. we've got the the shows going. Like, we really feel like we're starting to learn what we're doing at this point. Got Whereas before, floor. we were just like really, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This looks way cooler than I thought it would. So, okay. Um, I run a channel. Other than this one. Really? And other than like five of the other channels I run. Tell me about that channel. It's called Convention Reviews. He's going to plug it. I've talked about I'm not plugging it. I'm just telling you. It's called Convention Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> and um, basically why I'm telling you this is because of this channel, it has brought us to many, many cons. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Because we're trying, I want to go to cons to be able to review them and keep my channel running. Indeed. Because of this bringing us to many cons, we've met a lot of voice actors that you probably wish you've met. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tell you about them now and our experiences with them. So, what are we going to start? What voice actor do we want to start with? Okay, we'll start with Monica Real, the one, one really? that everybody knows. I thought we'd start, at the, I guess we'll save the best for last. Indeed. We'll save our Bryce. Personal, our personal. We'll best. save Bryce for never. <laughs> I'm just going to roll with it. <laughs> I don't like him. We don't like him. I like him in some things. When just he does, things. when he learns how to put a little emotion into his voice, maybe I'll change my mind. He's good as red. Anyway, um, Monica Real, we'll talk about her because my best experience with Monica is... Who does she play? So people know. Okay, well, let's see. She's Panty, or sorry, no, she's Stocking. Stocking. She's Stocking. She's Subaki she, from Soul Eater. She is, uh, she's the nurse in High School of the Dead. Uh, I can't remember her name. Uh, oh, who is she that I love? Uh, uh, she's a lot of people. She's, she's done so, so many roles. Oh, she's, uh, 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 Asuka? Is that her name? May Ren. Asa. Asa. Asa, Asa, Asa from Shuffle. Asa Shigure from Shuffle. That's, that's, that's May probably Ren. one of my favorite. May Ren? Yeah, that's another good yeah, role. she's May. She's oh, oh, she's, uh, the person in Black Butler. Is that May Ren? That's, That's my right. Okay. <laughs> She's not... Oh, the person we named? So the what's your experience with her? Um, well, it was Anime Crossroads 2012. Yeah. Was that 12? Was that the one you were at? 12. 12. Yeah, it was 2012, because it was like a week before. Picture it, Anime Crossroads. <laughs> ah, long like time. A, long time. The memories. So, <laughs> the memories. Um, I went downstairs to do something. I don't remember what it was, but I was in my 10th Doctor cosplay, and I got on the elevator to go downstairs, and as I'm going downstairs, there's Monica in the hotel with her suitcase. She's on her way to her autograph session. And I, was, I, I open up, and I open up, and I just go, Monica. <laughs> just like, Welcome to the elevator. <laughs> I, no, I was getting on the elevator. Oh. And I was just like, Monica, and she got excited. And, then and all she thought was, oh my God. I couldn't help but gush. Like, I don't, I hate that I did this. Like, I got on the elevator, and rather than just, like, talk to her like a normal person, I was like, well, I liked you in this, and this, and this, and this, Oh, and my this. God! You didn't tell me you did this! Yeah, I couldn't help it! I was like, oh, crap, what do I say? It's you like, freaking... It's like you... It's like... Oh, you're such a little fanboy! I couldn't help it. It was like... Uh, and I met her the previous year at the same con, but I asked her to do uh, yell Black Star in Tsubaki's voice, and she remembered me. Black Star! Black Star! She remembered my name. <laughs> hey, baby. Um... <laughs> she remember she remember my name, and uh, I really like Monica Real. Um, so <laughs> physically, that too. And uh, yeah, it was just cool. I shared an elevator with her. You know, I didn't have my phone on her, so I couldn't be like, "Hello there." And then I was like, "I'm getting ready to come to your." Hold up! You didn't have your phone on you? I didn't have my phone. Things on have me. changed. <laughs> Dakota won't go anywhere without his phone now. But go on. Um, so uh, I'd forgotten it actually. So then I was like, "Is well, that why you were going back upstairs?" No, I was going downstairs for oh. something. Um, and then uh, I met her. And then she signed my uh, thing because she was on her way to her autograph session. She signed my pamphlet for that weekend. She wrote, she wrote, uh, Monica Real, yay, elevator buddies. <laughs> so. so who wants to go next? So who else um, we got? Well, still with Monica Real, I mean, I really like Monica also. We've she only got so much time. 
fine. If um, you got a good story, you can tell it. Let's see here. I, I, no, that's good. Um, well, there's like Vic Min, we've met Vic Mignogna. Uh, he's an awesome dude. I know a lot of people got problems with him. Listen, I don't have a problem. With we, every time we've met him, he's been fine. Like super, and, super okay, chill. I don't want to get big into this, and I don't want to start something in the comments. I just want to say a lot of people say that he's like, I'll just straight up come and say it that he hugs girls for too long. He but hugs he does, everybody for too long. He does it to guys too. He's just a huggy dude. He's not just doing things to girls. I have a story about his hugs. Okay, you, D Dakota gets to tell another story. So make this one quicker because we want to tell our story. Right, so my story is about the hugs. He it was at Anime Crossroads 2011, our very first con. He was the Ever. guest. We was, were so fanboying to see. And him. so he went and he said, "Come by, I will give you a hug." Because he again, he hugs everybody. It's not and his long women. hugs, it's intimate hugs it's, with everybody because he knows that's what his fans want. They want to hug him, and I like hugs a lot. I'm a very huggy guy, just like Vic. So, um. I went and I hugged him, and when I hugged the dude, it was such a satisfying hug. This is a good story. <laughs> like, he's right here. This is Vic. Nate's Vic. And as I'm hugging him, I didn't even mean to. I let out an involuntary... <sighs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to. It was just such a good hug. It was like... <sighs> and then Vic went... It was like hugging yeah. a cloud. And then, I, and then I did that, and this... I me went... Like, mm. Because <laughs> I was like, oh god, I just did this right in his ear. And then I, th and then I realized like two days later, I was like, that's probably not the worst thing that's ever happened to him. Okay, America. really, really quick, uh, Todd Habercorn. Mm -hmm. Is, have we all seen him We've outside? all met Todd Habercorn. So what oh. was yours? My first experience with Todd is, it was right before he was filming a live, he was going to record a live Toddcast. He, um, I was just walking around, I did have my phone on me this time, again, to Adam Crossroads, 2011, and um, I'm walking around, and I'm walking to the bathroom, and I look, and there's just Todd just chilling, doing something on his Mac on the floor. And I, I walk by at first, and I was like, that's Todd. And then I walk into the bathroom, do my thing, and I come back out, and he's still there. And I was just like, Todd? And he goes, hey, what's up? And then, you know, I can't do Todd. But, so I was like, can I take a picture of you? And rather than take a picture with him, I was like, took a picture of him, and he's just going... <laughs> so, or did you meet Todd outside of? I, I kind of did um, at Miami Midwest, which was the first time I met Todd. My story is in Midwest too. Yeah, um, he had his panel where uh, his he told, his phone called him. Uh, what was it? His oh was with his mom. Oh yeah, and he called his mom and everything. It was a good panel, but Todd's panels are great. A. Eh? I walk up to a uh, staff worker, and as I'm walking up. Todd walks up to the same staff member at the same time. So, not to... Kept my cool. Not to be like, Oh my god, Todd. Oh my, oh my god, god, I liked you in god. this, and this, and this. I, have a, I stood there, it, but it's patient. Uh, patient but it's didn't say anything. And then when Todd walked away, I, uh, <laughs> I'm just, I asked the staff member my question. But it was weird, because it was just like, you don't want to be that person that runs up to him just because he's and, there. And, like, locks himself in an elevator with him and starts naming off the shows they like him. <laughs> but... <laughs> No, no, no. What he did is okay because it was un it was on accident. I w didn't want it to be the person that looks like I'm pur purposely running over there just to talk to him. So okay, my story with Todd. I didn't really do anything with Todd, but in my video where I was Everybody recording, to. I was recording a picture of Katie with this Lelouch because she just really wanted a picture with this Lelouch because she loves Code Geass. Katie's my girlfriend, by the way. If I didn't mean it, I know you guys might not know who that is. So, um. And I did no freaking idea. And watching back through the footage later, Todd just freaking walks literally right by in the shot, just texting. <laughs> he does that a lot. Yeah, he's always freaking out on the floor. I don't think he. Okay, we each there. get one story. You get only one more freaking story. That's fine. You've told a lot. That's fine. All right, because I still gotta tell mine. And I'm well, I'll sure keep mine short. Has one. Okay, yeah. Mine's not really a voice actor I've met. It's just a con guest that I met. Oh, um, Walker. Yeah. Well, okay. Thanks. Uh -huh. yeah. No, go ahead. Doug um, Walker, yeah. So, um, I met him real quick. I was going to ask questions about his panels. Doug Walker, if you don't know, Nostalgia Critic, that guy with glasses. And I went, and I was walking down there, and I was going to ask, and they said, come in this room, and we'll help you out. And I went, and he's in there. Like, he just got there. He still had a suitcase. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> and I, I sit there and pull my phone out, and I was like, they were there. I was like, guys, guys, he's in the room. He's in the room. I'm in the room with him. Oh, my God. And like, he literally went to figure out when his panel was. And then he was right there, and I was like, oh, my God, guys. And then he walked by, and then I'm mentally freaking out, and I'm like, ah, ah, he's right there. And then he walks by, and then I just go, big, big, 
big fan. And then he goes, oh, cool, let's bump elbows. So we bumped elbows. <laughs> b- b- big fan. Like, when we heard this story, he seemed much more manly. I'm a big fan. No, I mean, we walked by and I, I was excited, but I was like, big, big, big fan. <laughs> this is not sir, how I sir, heard I'm, it. I'm, I'm a big fan. The truth comes out on weekday one. Of, what's your story? Um, well, uh, actually, at MonsterCon, which is so recent. Oh, God, are you telling the story I was going to tell? Oh, no, wait, is this MonsterCon 2014? Yes. Okay. I didn't go to 13. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> I met Eric Mendez, who's the voice actress for uh, Matsui Ryuko from Kill la Kill, so the main character, and I just, I really got to talk to her about how well... Which you haven't even seen the dumb. We saw, have, we've seen a we, lot there's of There's four oh, episodes now. We've seen them. I've I seen them. I, I saw her in the trailer. Now. I've seen the four episodes where, that she's been in, and she does a phenomenal job. We'll continue. Um, and I just talked to her about how me and Dakota and, and the people that I know that have seen Kill la Kill talked about how it would be hard to voice actor her character, and I was just telling her how she did such a great job and I, how I don't think anyone else could have done a better job. And she just went on and on about how she said, how that company, or Funimation, picked the perfect people to... I don't think it's Funimation that's dubbing it. All right, I know, I, I can't remember. I just named the first company I think of. But whoever's dubbing it uh, just did a phenomenal job with every character that mm-hmm. they did. I can agree with that. But what's your story? My story is for a man, a legend, some would say. He goes by the pseudonym, actually the name, Scott McNeil. Scott McNeil. Uh, was this at uh, This Ipatsu is at Matsuri Con, oh, 2013. Okay. Scott McNeil voice acts a lot of people. I'm not going to get into it. You can look it up yourself. But he's freaking hilarious. Does he do that I know? Hohenheim? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Uh, he's freaking hilarious. Oh, I know you're talking about. And he wears this cowboy hat. He's easily one of the funniest voice actors I've ever met in my life. So at Matsuri Con, there's the ele- it's a kind of a medium-sized con, so there's elevator issues when you're trying to get to your room. You've got to wait in lines to get on elevators and stuff. And there was a secret elevator that we found out about. you got to go around this little hallway, and you go into this area, and it's just like a big metal box. Like, they don't even try and make it look good. It's just like... Nate knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's ugly. Yeah. You can tell that this is, like, not for the normal people. So we're, like, we're taking this secret elevator. It goes right to our floor. We've done it a couple times, but we're downstairs, and we got to go up to our floor. We go to get in the secret elevator. We're sitting there waiting on it. Scott McFreakin' Neal walks into this little room where these elevators are, and we're like, Scott McNeil? And we're talking to him, and he's, like, standing over. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm not feeling so good. And we're like... We just saw your panel. What's up? And he's like, the the person who my helper, because the if you don't know, guess at cons they have like a helper who makes tries to keep them on track. They're like they're stuffing me full of meat, <laughs> meat and alcohol. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't hear this story. No, you no. haven't? No. Oh, it's hilarious. And then we get on the elevator with him, and he's like narrating the whole ride. He's like, and now we will be going to the next floor and we're going up and it's bumpy. And he's like, oh, we might not make it. <laughs> well, I don't know. It was one of, like, we were cheesing the whole time. We get off and we're like, bye, Scott. And he's like, have a good one, kids. <laughs> Did he say have a good one? <laughs> he said something. I don't know. And it was amazing. It was easily my best uh, voice actor, like one-on-one. Well, it wasn't just me. There was like, four of us but they were all in my group like it wasn't people we didn't know with us and it was Scott McNeil just stuff full of meat and alcohol it was hilarious I forgot to mention that we all had to get in an elevator with uh, I Shine oh I was at MatsuriCon 14 mm-hmm. like the door opens and immediately I go oh hello I Shine <laughs> <laughs> so you shared uh, with, with Johnny with John, the whole crew wow. everyone was, was it just you no uh, I believe I wasn't there. He wasn't there. I think Katie was the only one. Katie, I think. That was the only one. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to meet these people, and even if you do want to meet go Bryce to a con. go to a con and meet them. Save up the dollars. Save up the dollars. The dollar signs. Or ask your parents to pay for it. It could be a birthday present, a Christmas present. Pick a good con, though. Um, look it up, you know, learn a little bit about it. If you need you go. a good con, go check out his channel. Well, if you're in the area for those cons. But, um, Midwest. If you're in the Midwest, check out my channel, and you'll learn what cons to go to. Yumacon. <laughs> anyway. Basically, Yumacon. Yeah. Um, so... Ramacon. Yeah, you guys... No. <laughs> you guys should <laughs> definitely oh. go meet 
some of these voice actors and make your own experiences with them. Then make your own channel where you talk with your buddies about it, and then I'll subscribe, watch it, and I'll get to hear about your experiences. Thank you guys for watching. Hey. Hashtag one up. Stay nerdy. Am I the only one that says it anymore these days? Nope. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch yesterday's video, click right here in the center of the screen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And read the description to find our other channels, plus our Twitch and more. Nice, bro. Could you keep that in?